for soul today. So again, I'm going to introduce myself. I am Ann Sarmiento, your MAPE teacher. So I am your MAPE teacher. I will, I will be the one who's going to discuss about the different types of social dance and dance mixer. Now, as you can see, this is for the second quarter topic. So, shall we? Good afternoon, my dear students. Thank you very much for coming and for watching this live stream for today. Okay. So, before we start, let's do a quick warm-up exercises. So, exercises is very important. So, how will you exercise? First is you start with rotational movement, like head rotation, then your shoulder, hips, your knees and your um, leg. So after the warm-up exercises or after the rotation as preparatory movement, you have to put your heads down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then you can go with your shoulders. Extend your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just do a quick warm-up exercise before any physical activity. You have to remember that one. To prepare your body for any motions. So next. So the question here is, why do we need to exercise? What is the importance of doing a quick warm-up exercises? You can type your answer down below, and I will read it. You can answer it in Philippine or in English. So why do we need to perform warm-up exercise? So I'll give you 10 seconds to answer. Okay. Very good. So the main purpose of exercises is to prepare your body for movement to avoid injuries. That's one of the main reasons, especially before be, before performing a dance. So right now, our topic is about dances. So we have different types of social dance and dance mixer. So what is the historical background of dance? So this is, this is the nature and background of social dance and dance mixer. The main purpose of dancing is to mingle to talk to your friends, to meet new friends, especially before, uh, especially before, before the invention of cell phones, people go to ballroom dances to meet other people. So they are also called, social dances also called ballroom dances. So ballroom dances are usually performed in pairs, male and female. If you like that girl, you can approach her and ask her how to dance or to dance with you. So next is, so what is a ballroom dance? So ballroom dance is a set of partner dance. You need someone to dance with, especially during ballroom dances. So because, because of its performance and entertainment aspect, ballroom dance is also widely enjoyed on stage, film, and television. Okay, so there are two types of social dances. We have Latin American dance and modern standard dance. So the first is Latin American dance. So it can be determined through the costume worn by the performer. So when you look at a costume, you will basically and immediately notice that it is a Latin American dance because the costumes were revealing tight, fitting, sexy. It can be performed in an open or close hold position. So that is Latin American dances. So next is, so here are the examples of different dance. So we have cha-cha, rumba, paso, doble, jive, boogie, swing, merengue, salsa, and mambo. Those are examples of Latin American dance. So the first one is cha-cha. It is lively and fun. So the cha-cha originated in Cuba. So the next dance is rumba. Rumba also originated in Cuba. It is recognized as the subtle side side hip movement with the erect torso. So that's rumba. So another 
Cuban dance is salsa. It is a combination of mainly Latin and Afro-Caribbean dances whose movement came from, of course, from Cuban cha-cha, mambo, and other dance forms. So the last Cuban dance is, we have this one, mambo. It is recognized as a fast and spicy dance. So this one is very sexy. The Cuban motion, staccato movements, and expression of rhythm through the body is noticeable. So these four are all dances, Latin American dances that originated in Cuba. Most of these are of African origin. So the next dance is Samba. Samba is the Brazilian counterpart of Grumba. Okay. Another Latin American dance is Paso Doble. Paso Doble originated in Spain. So, Paso Doble is very important because it dramatized the Spanish bullfight. But originally, Paso Doble came from France. So, the next Latin American dance is Jive and Boogie. This, this dance originated in the United States. So, it is a, described as a very happy and boppy, lively dance mainly of knee lifting. Then the last one is the swing. It is known as energetic style of dancing in which a dancer often lifts and spins and flips his or her partner. So the origin again is the United States through its African-American community. Most of them are slave, but this is during the 1920s. So, merengue. So merengue, it is described as a fun and fast, easy dance made up of simple step. It is composed of a non-progressive dance but can also travel counterclockwise around the floor. So the country of origin is Dominican Republic. Now, so this will be your activity too. So identify the Latin American dance. Get a, get a sheet of paper, you can answer it, and then pass it to me, to PM, or any way possible. So this is activity number two. So identify the Latin American dances, rearrange the letters, like those jumbled letters, write your answer on a sheet of paper. So next is the modern standard dances. You can... You can easily spot if a dancer is dancing a modern standard type of dance because of the costume. So the female wear ankle length gowns and the males wear coat and tie. Most of them are performed during closed ballroom position. So dance sport is different from social dance or ballroom dances because it is a sport. So when you when there's a sport, so you have judges, they have to make sure that all the movement is correct. But when it comes to social dances and volume dances, it is it is for fun only, not compared with dance sport, because it has established rules. So what are the examples of modern standard dances? Okay, these are the examples of modern standard dance. First one is Slow waltz. Slow waltz originated in Austria. This type, this slow waltz, but the original version of waltz came from Germany. It is a dance, it is a form of folk dance. But when slow waltz arrived in Vienna, Austria, it is danced by, by the nobility. So it's part of the royal court. So Venice waltz and slow waltz is almost similar. It is known for its it is known for its non-shable, uh, noticeable, graceful, and constant wide sweeping currents along with its fast tempo. So Austria is the neighbor of Germany. You can find it in European map. So tango. Tango originated in Argentina. Again, thanks to the African and the European influence, Tango emerges. It is one of the most famous dances in the world. It is rich. Um, it is rich in expression, improvisation, and connection.
So the next dance is Foxtrot. It is beautiful romantic dance that consists of fairly simple walking step and side step. So Foxtrot originated in the United States, made popularized by Harry, by Harry Fox. Next is the quick step. The dance is suited for both formal and informal events because of the upbeat melodies. Quick step is dance mainly for um, if you want to know one another or if you want to ask the person. That's its main purpose. That's why it's called social dancing. So it is fast, powerful, flowing, sprinkled with syncopation. The country of origin, of course, is the United States. Same with fast track. So here's the activity three. You can write your answer on a sheet of paper. So you have to remember that you need to identify the modern standard dances and rearrange the words or the letters. That is for activity number three. So here's a video presentation.
followed you Say something, I'm giving up on you So here are the processing questions. What can you say about the video? How will you differentiate the different types of dances in your own words? So you can write your answer again on a piece of paper, then have it put, uh, have a photo of it, a clear copy when they send it to me. Okay. So what to wear, especially for females? So what are the proper wear or attire for dancing? For females and for male. Oh, this one is for male. So let's start with the gentleman. This is the formal attire. So you have tail coat, tuxedo coat, regular bow tie, regular necktie, and black trousers. That is for gentlemen. And for Latin, for Latin, you can go for bottom-up shirt, solid t-shirt, turtleneck, dress locks, bright colors, outfits are accepted. Like you can see the example here. It's a very clear example. So semi-formal, you can go for dress shirt and tie, vest and sweater. It's okay. It's good. So now let's go for female. Okay, female formal attire, ball gown, evening gown, diner gown, and cocktails. This is good for modern standard dances. The next one is for Latin. Oh, this is Latin American. Should be sexy and long slit skirts. Low neckline, exposed midriffs are popular. You can also use them for Latin American dance. Semi-formal are just diner dresses and flowing pants. So after all this, um, after all these things, so what are the benefits of social dance? First, it, it elevates the energy and improves strength. It enhances your muscle tone, coordination and balance, decreases tension and stress. So dancing will help you during this time of pandemic to relieve stress. It improves your stamina and flexibility. It helps widen the social circle. If you want to know other people, you can join ballroom dances. But because today's pandemic, you can ask your sisters for that or your brothers. And of course, it is one of the medicine for shyness. One of the best benefits of social dancing is it promotes happy hormones like oxytocin um, and, and it can relieve you with your stress. So activity number five, so what have I learned? So this is the last, one of the last two activities, exit card. You can put your answer down below on the comment section. So what are the three health benefits of dancing? Two things I find interesting about the nature and background of social dance. And number one question that you want to be clarified about the lesson. And for the last activity, for your reflection, uh, you just have to complete the statement. The learners in their journal will write their personal insight about the lesson using the prompt below. For example, I understand that and I realize that. Write it on a piece of paper and pass it to me. And this is, will be our quote for today. It takes two to tango. Yeah. Even though we are here in our respected houses during pandemic, we still need people to talk to. You can chat them or you can play with your friends or your sisters so that you can improve your well-being. And to meet your goal, you don't have to be alone. You need to be with someone else that will support you all the way. So that's why it takes two to tango. Okay. Thank you very much. This is your MAPI teacher, Coach Asa Sarmiento. And see you around. Bye-bye.